Well, hello and welcome to another video of mine. In today's video, I'm going to be upgrading the RAM on my ASUS ROG Strix G15 Advantage Edition from 2021. Wow, I said it in one breath. So the RAM that I'm currently using is stock RAM, which is a 16 GB RAM on my laptop. I've not upgraded the RAM since I purchased it. But finally, I thought, hey, it's been over a year now since I've purchased this laptop. Let's give it some more power in terms of the RAM. So the RAM that I chose to go along with was the G-Skill Ripjaws. This is the RAM. I'm going to put up the link in the description box as well. Now, it may look different in the online listing, uh, but uh, this is how it looks like when you finally purchase it. Uh, I'll give you some information about it. Here is the model name number. And this is a DDR4 RAM, 3200, 16 GB, one stick. So this is a single, you could say, rank not dual rank but since i'm purchasing two of them it becomes kind of dual channel but uh, please note that considering the price that i purchased this at i think it was a good deal because it just cost me around 3100 indian rupees for a 16 gb one so times two is you could just multiply 3100 times two which is 6200 which is less than a hundred dollars so that's what i purchased this at and this is a total of 16 plus 16, so that's 32 GB. So I'm moving from a 16 GB RAM on my ASUS ROG Strix G15 Advantage Edition over to 32 gigs of RAM. And since I bought two of them, it's going to be dual channel. But please note, this is not a dual rank module. Well, I'll get to know that. You know, I mean, on the listing, it does not say that it's dual rank. But let's find out. Let's connect this and I'll show you the before and after uh, benchmark results as well. And before I get started, I just want to tell you that you've got to be extremely careful while you're opening your ASUS ROG Strix G15 because it's got some LED lighting here. Now, I made a video when I upgraded my storage and I showed you how to open up the panel, how you've got to be careful and how you should not damage your lighting because there's a chance because it's so, you could say, um, I wouldn't say flimsy, but it's pretty delicate. So you've got to have very sensitive hands or delicate hands and you've got to approach this carefully or you may end up damaging your LED lighting. Now you also need certain tools to open this properly so I suggest that you have something like this and uh, don't use any sharp objects but use things like this. It looks like a guitar plectrum but this is what you would need to open the laptop up carefully. Now with that said let's open this up. I'm not going to show you the entire process probably I'll just fast forward it and I'll get to the part where I have opened this up yeah. This is the part where we've got to be most careful because you've got to carefully remove this you see this part here this is your LED lighting cables so you've got to be very very careful with that and I'm just gonna very nicely keep it here and this is where your RAM is located so this is your RAM 1 RAM 2 so we're gonna now make sure that we <laughs> replace these very quickly and again you've got to have very sensitive hands here my laptop still looks neat and clean from the inside although it's been over a year thankfully there's no dust that is collected apart from a little bit over here just a little bit that's it otherwise it's still pretty neat i would say so you've got to make sure that you don't use any moist hands or anything like that and uh, yeah this is pretty good let's get right into it now i've taken out the ram from the cases and it does look like okay it does look like the online listing so here it is as you can see this is the rib jaws ddr4 g scale and these are sodium rams by the way so if you take a look at it here there's information about it like it's a plug and play i'm not sure if this is in focus just give me one second there you go 16 GB, 3200, CS22. So what we're going to do very quickly now is we're going to remove this tape, which is stuck to the RAM. We're going to carefully remove it. Now you will need, you will need this again. All right. So make sure you keep this safely here. And this RAM goes in like this probably so i'm going to keep this here and this here 
and I'm gonna remove this other tape as well okay the camera is not in focus sorry about that and here I'm gonna keep this here and this RAM probably slides in like this have to check you have to check so let's check that so they're just two you could say kind of a clippy thingy here so as soon as you take that out you can remove the RAM here and this is where you know so you've just got to match the hinges all right so if you match the hinges you would know which one goes in where so this one would go in like this slot it in and you would know yep I think this is it yep so you will get that satisfactory click sound and you know you've slotted it in so just like that I'm gonna take off the other one as well BAM and this one this is a Samsung by the way that they're using I didn't know that that's a Samsung RAM so not bad not bad at all quite pleased with Asus here so again you've got to make sure that you're slotting it properly sensitive delicate hands and once you know you get that clicky satisfactory sound you can put this right back in like this I'm gonna tape it up again you would need that this is nicely done and the same goes for this now and this is nicely done as well okay so now we have replaced the RAM what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna take this very nicely delicately I'm not gonna put in all the um, you could say clips in what you have to do is you have to make sure that you are checking if it has accepted the RAM successfully and that's when you kind of screw back everything in place so we're just gonna switch this on let's see what happens that's a good sign Republic of Gamers so at least I know that it's turning on now I've just got to make sure that it is turning on properly and it has accepted the RAM if it has then what I'll do is you know I'll start oh it has so voila so it was that simple I'm just gonna put in my password very quickly okay now that I've put in my password everything has gone very smoothly smoother than I expected so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place these RAMs they might come handy in the future so I'm just going to put them here. I can probably use this in the future sometime. So there you go. All right. So now let's just quickly check if everything is in order. And uh, we can go over to the settings. And in the settings, you can go over to, <coughs> sorry, your RAM information, <coughs> view RAM info. And as you can see, I'm not sure, I, I'll try to zoom in, okay? Because this is important information. So this is where I try to zoom in and I'll try to show you that this has now accepted the RAM properly. So here it says, 32 GB RAM so it has successfully taken the RAM in again just bringing the laptop closer so that you can take a good look at it that's 32 GB RAM and this is now all good so it's usable now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna screw everything back up again and then I'm gonna run some tests some benchmarks and I'll show you some before and after as to how it's impacted this laptop positively or negatively. 
So let's quickly find that out as well. You see, it's already seen a slight boost, you could say. It was 123 something. So now it's moved over to 125. So it has seen an improvement. Now, just in case you're wondering what exactly was that figure, I can help you out with that as well. Now, because this is the performance that we are actually testing out, the RAM performance. So this is what matters most. So I'm just going to show you the RAM performance. I'm going to open up the screenshot. Uh, photos just once let's see let's hope okay this is not the ramp performance but you can see the performance difference here yeah? you can see from 123 it's moved over to 125 now that's the CPU this is the GPU so the GPU performance is here and this is how you can see it's different so from 191 it's moved over to 200 RAM access is a lot more uh, however disk app IPO has kind of reduced okay and uh, disk random access is reduced as well but overall the performance has seen a boost here it would give you so increasing the ram actually gives you a boost in your gpu so the gpu has a significant jump here from say about 470 470000 over to 493000 now that is a decent enough jump uh, i would say so if you really want me to calculate it in terms of what kind of a percentage this is so i can tell you that as well 470 271 divided by 493518 that's around 5% boost there so close to 5% boost and uh, the other figure was this one the RAM performance so I'm going from 191 216 divided by 200 186 so that's again you know close to 4.5% so overall you do see a 4.5% jump there okay now when it comes to the you could say geekbench there is a significant difference especially when it comes to the multi-core performance because if you look at the multi-core score here it is 6852 but here it's jumped over to 8062 so if i really have to calculate or put a percentage to it so 8062 divided by 6852 and that is a boost of around almost 18%. And that is a big jump. So if you look at the multi-core score, you are getting an 18% improvement in your Geekbench multi-core score. That, to me, is a win. So I'm glad that I actually went ahead with this upgrade. The one thing that I would tell you has made a significant difference in real-time experience. Now, forget the benchmarks. The benchmarks are indicative of what the system is performing like but the real time experience might be different or real life experience might be different. So let me pull up browser and I'll tell you my own personal experience as to how quickly I think the browser pulls up and that is fast. Now I did notice that it's become significantly much better in terms of the browsing. So if I head over to anything, wow, bam, it is fast. It's really good. Now let me shut this off and let me open up the Xbox app. And let's see how this has changed. I have seen an improvement. Now, there is a slight improvement, but there is an improvement nonetheless. The change, the major change was in the browser opening up. That was a big change, I would say. I've never seen it open up that fast. Or even this browser, the Opera browser, this has opened up really fast. So that's like super fast. And I'll tell you one app that I always had a problem with. That is, I'm not sure if you guys have a problem with this as well, the Epic Game Launcher. It's extremely slow. But let's see if this has had a positive impact. I think it has, yeah. Uh, yeah, it, it, it does. It does open up at least faster than before. I've always had a problem with Epic Games Launcher. And uh, the 32 GB RAM, well, it definitely helped. This has become much faster. So even the Epic Games launcher, much better. Steam is, is way better now. Let me just pin this. I'm gonna open up Steam as well. Bam. Wow. That is fast, guys. So overall, I'm pretty pleased with this upgrade. And I can tell you that the G-Skill Ripjaws has been so far all right. Now, I haven't tested it out in games. I do wanna test it out on games. And um, if you want to see a video as to what kind of a performance boost 
uh, have I got in terms of gaming? Then um, hit me up in the comment section. I'd probably be able to get back. But yeah, I'll leave it at that now. I mean, for this video, that is. So if you have any questions, if you have any comments, feel free to use the comment box and chat away. And uh, yeah, do remember to hit the like and subscribe button if you have liked the content, if it has helped you out in any way. And um, also hit that bell icon in case you want to get notified with all my latest videos. Now, with that said, it's a wrap for this one. And I'll see you lovely folks in my next video. Until that time, I'll see you. Take care, stay safe, and uh, may God bless you all.